Today, today I have been staying at home for the last two weeks because of the UK coronavirus lockdown and I've been staying at home with my brother Eden and we wake up and then we have breakfast and then I study Korean with my dad and then I have Spanish. I just do it by myself on the iPad and then we have lunch and then we exercise and then we have maths and English and then we have Sometimes I do piano or violin and then we have dinner and then we go to bed. We have a shower and then I read a book and then we go to bed. I do that every week except Sunday because on Sundays I'm free and I either read a book or I just watch something on the iPad. So today I'm going to show you what I do at home. So the first thing I'm going to do is Korean and I used to go to Korean school in year one, two, but then I stopped doing it and then I forgot everything so now I start doing it again. So now I finished doing Korean, so now I'm going to do Spanish. Muy bien, gracias. Twenty. Yeah. Um. Five. Um, so after I did the exercise I had a little break and now I'm going to do some maths. So this one is from school that they're giving it for, 
to us for homeschooling and this is year five and then this is just this is just random this is just maths that i do at home by myself and this one is year six maths so now i'm going to start with this one Um, so now I'm going to do um, year five maths that I do at home. Um, so next I'm going to do the year six maths and this is year six so I'm, I'm in year five right now so I'm just getting ready for what to do in year six so I understand them more. Um, in this book I do about four pa or oh no two pages because the amount of questions are different and in this book it depends on how per many day, right? yeah on per day because it depends on because in this book it there are different amount of questions in a book and in this one I do four because the amount of questions there are not a lot of questions on the page. So, now I'm going to do English. So, now the first one is 11 plus of vocabulary words. And, say, for example, if the word is companion, there's, there's the meaning, and then examples of how to say it, and then synonyms and antonyms, and then another... Um, another example with the rhyming word and then they say if it's a noun verb adjective or an adverb and then i copy everything inside here and then this is reading comprehension so just comprehension questions and um if you want to see how what these are um click up here and this is grammar, punctuation, and spelling, spag. And then it's just, yeah, grammar, sp and then, yeah, just grammar, spelling, and punctuation. So now I'm going to start with vocabularies. In the vocabulary, I do five every day, and, but inside one word, so there are lots of synonyms and antonyms, and sometimes there's homonyms. So I can't, so I do five every day and then I try to remember them and then sometimes I do a test of words. Um, so now I've finished all of my work so I would have dinner and then have a shower and then read a book and then go to bed and then yeah that's what I do every day except Sundays and according to Boris he says stay at home and stay safe bye bye